Welcome to the Bill Cartwright Show with Steve Cohen, our special guest, Mr. Rodney Lee. Rodney, welcome to the show. Thank you. Look forward to it. Uh, you know, I always really like to start about just talking about you. Can you talk a little bit about where you grew up? I knew where you grew up. And let's talk a little bit about mom and dad. Okay. I guess um, so I'm born and raised in San Francisco. Um, my dad an op- was an optometrist, and my mom just stayed at home to take care of us. I grew up with two brothers as well. Can you tell us what kind of kid were you like in high school? Were you a sports kid? Were you uh, uh, a bookworm? What, what kind of kid were you? I guess um, well, I, I played competitive tennis, so I was... Um, probably every day I would play for three or four hours. So play tennis in high school and at USF and um, was interested in photography as well. So I took pictures for the yearbook and actually during high school, I was taking pictures for USF as well. And then academically, you know, I was, always knew I wanted to become an orthodontist. So also I worked hard academically as well. Now let's talk about those two things. Let's talk about, for one thing, how did you get to USF? And let's talk about um, you being a photographer because you've taken some really incredible pictures. Yeah, so I guess um, first part of how I got to USF is I basically knew USF through basketball. You know, a lot of, I grew up in San Francisco. I Grew up maybe a, a mile and a half away from USF. So I went to a few basketball games. And actually, before I actually started college, I took some pictures for Bill Fusco. So I took pictures of the basketball team, you know, Cable Car Classic at the Cow Palace and wow. started taking pictures. And I guess um, started taking pictures of you and the rest of the soccer, soccer team as well. So I knew uh, actually a a sports editor and he knew me through playing tennis at Golden Gate Park. And he gave me an opportunity. I started shooting the 49ers and the Raiders and the Warriors at the same time. So the reason I went to USF is for two reasons. One is I was able to photograph for USF working for a sports information office. And then also I knew the tennis coach Chuck White fairly well. So he said, why not come out, play for the tennis team? So I played tennis at USF. So playing tennis, being able to play at USF, being the photographer there, it was natural for me to go to school there. Talk about uh, a rememberable match or matches that that you had at USF. Well, I guess... um, Stanford was always the the top team in the country. So I think um, there was always a a tournament called the Northern California Intercollegiates. So all the college teams from Northern California went there. And I played a person from Stanford and I won in the tiebreaker 7-6. And back then they had nine point tiebreakers. So the final point was decided um, by this, where the whole match was decided by one point. So I beat a person named Scott Bondurant from Stanford. So I was able to um, win against Stanford, a match there. We always played against Pepperdine, and we always had memorable matches against them. They're always much better than us, but it was always fun. You know, one season we went down to Pepperdine, and being able to play there was was a highlight of my career as well. Hey, who were some of your teammates back then? Um. My teammates um, back then, there's a person named Jim Heater or John Perondo, um, Mike G, Byron Epimacino. So th- there are some of my teammates. I still see Byron on and off and still see Mike G once in a while. You know, when I was at the USF, I had some great mentors when I was there. Some people besides my teammates that kind of showed me along the way. 
Uh, can you talk about that? Somebody that really helped you along the way while you were at USF? Probably our tennis coach, Chuck White. You know, he was always um, really positive with us and gave us encouragement, you know, did anything for the team. So Chuck was probably my mentor at USF. Also, you know, being pre-dental. I mean, USF had so many great faculty people. I mean, Dr. Gorman, chemistry, Dr. Siwad in organic chemistry, Dr. Schooley for anatomy. I mean, there's just so many people that, one thing nice about USF is it's such a small school. So they knew all, you, you can go up to professors and you can just talk with them. And I really enjoyed that opportunity. You know, a lot of my friends went to UC Berkeley and it was so big and they didn't know their instructors. They would talk to TAs all the time. But over USF, it was just so personal. So I really enjoyed that. So as you're leaving USF, uh, what do you think of, uh, as, as you're leaving school, do you know wh what you want to do for a living? Yes. So um, went to UCSF Dental School right afterwards. So I actually um, went to USF for three years. And actually, I didn't graduate from USF, but I went straight to dental school. So I always knew I wanted to become an orthodontist. So, you know, USF was strong academically and um, fortunately it got me to UCSF dental school and I did my orthodontic training there as well. Now, did you have any influences that way? I mean, that's not, uh, or is that just something you've always wanted to do? I had braces myself growing up and I just thought it was, you do so many great things for patients, give them a great smile and the environment's so nice. You see kids growing up. So in, in high school, I knew I wanted to become an orthodontist, you know, having braces myself. So um, as you're leaving um, college, what is your biggest challenge? Um, well, once you get into dental school, you have to um, do pretty well in dental school to get an orthodontic. So during school, my challenge was getting into the orthodontic program. And then once you finish orthodontics, you know, establishing a practice here in San Francisco and building up a patient base. And so that was also a, a big challenge for me as well. So did you have any yeah. mentors, somebody to kind of help you along the way? Yes. I mean, to, um, going to dental school at UCSF and, you know, knowing other orthodontists and giving me guidance as far as um, practice and ideas of being better clinically and building a bigger practice. I mean, we've had great mentors as far as my schooling and my education. I just was wondering, you know, how did tennis impact your, you know, your career as an orthodontist? I mean, did it give you a certain amount of discipline? Well, I think in, whenever you're involved in athletics, you learn discipline, hard work, goal setting. And, you know, going through dental school was actually easier than competing, you know, playing tennis. I started playing tennis when I was five years old and, you know, playing national tournaments, traveling, meeting people, meeting people while, you know, at Golden Gate Park was a great melting pot. You know, you grew up meeting um, doctors, attorneys, you know, all, all forms of everyone in life. You know, the common goal was just being an athlete, playing tennis, enjoying the sport. You know, no one cared about what you did. It was just having fun and competing and setting goals and achieving goals. And it was a great experience growing up playing tennis. Um, who were some of your tennis players you enjoyed watching growing up? Well, I guess a lot of my contemporaries are um, like when I was playing tennis, I played against John McEnroe. I was going to ask you about that when you played Stanford. Yeah. Yes. And so John McEnroe, Brad Gilbert. Um, I still see Peanut Louie all the time and, you know, we, we still play it on occasion. So um, we have, I have lifelong friends from tennis. I feel like your temperament is a little bit different than John McEnroe's. Yes. 
that's why I didn't pursue tennis. You have to be pretty competitive and aggressive. I, mean, it, I guess it works for him, though, right? I guess it, right? But not everybody seems to have his demeanor, right? Yvonne Lendl, other people, Bjorn Borg seem to be cooler. Right. right. That probably seems to be more of your... Right. You need to find a way to fire yourself up. And I guess John has a special way of getting motivated. Can you talk about... Um your photography a little bit because I've uh, you've sent me some pictures that are pretty spectacular and have you always uh, been interested in photography? Yeah so I started taking pictures when I was in high school actually in, in junior high school and I took a photography course and I started taking pictures for the yearbook and as I mentioned before there's um, a sports editor Hill Washington who I started taking pictures for. So back when I was 15 years old, I was all of a sudden going, was on the field, taking pictures of the 49ers, the Raiders, the Warriors. And I've been doing that ever since until just a couple of years ago. So the first season I shot the Warriors was 74, 75. And that's why when they won the NBA championship. Yeah, that was a great year. Now, uh, yeah. Phil Smith was on that team, right? Yeah, it was Phil, Phil's rookie year. Phil, Rick Barry. Um, Clifford Ray. Clifford Ray. Uh, George Johnson. Butch Beard, who was one of my teammates in uh, in New York. Was on Keith Wells. Al Adels was a coach, yeah. That was, yeah. That was, uh, that was that was really great times. Hey, have you had an opportunity to come back and visit the school? Because I'm I'm really, uh, you know, well I'm working here, but I but I'm so jealous of what the school has turned into now because everything is, it's new. It's uh, uh, just everything's better from the commons to the to the library to. Uh, having the uh, uh, Father Luis Galvo uh, Science Center, uh, the gym is being redone. Uh, have you had an opportunity to come back and visit? Um, I was there last year and I'm just so impressed by the school and the caliber of students. It's just, everything's first class. I mean, I saw the Science Center and it's just amazing, the libraries. I'm, I wish I was a student there right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it is, it is pretty amazing. Um, I, I do think one thing that's kind of happened with sports right now, especially in college, is that there's, there's such a academic standard to where now students are not only want to be, have um, athletic excellence, they want to have academic excellence, um, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, to to because I, I never thought you could do both. I thought, yeah, you know, I you know you wanted to be great athletically, but I didn't really know there was that time to uh, academically you can uh, you can have that same excellence. Right, especially nowadays, you know, athletics. They require so much of your time. And it's how Excel at Bulls is, is really great to be able to do that. But I think um, students nowadays, they realize that they need to have a good education to succeed in life. Even though you're great at sports, it doesn't gu guarantee you a career in the future. And if you excel academically, that's going to allow you to have more choices in the future. Can you talk a little bit about your family? Um, so I have two brothers. Um, one's a cardiologist and one's an optometrist. So um, wow, yeah, Steve, that's that's all the help you need. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely could use an optometrist. I'd probably be an orthodontist. Um, now I have you one are, daughter. Yeah. So I live in the city. And I have one daughter, and she's actually um, training at UCSF to be an orthodontist. So she'll be joining me in a practice a year from now. 
Wow. Well, I, I'm sure she's got a great mentor to, uh, to definitely show her the way. Well, I think she's going to be my boss. <laughs> Steve, I'm going to give you the last shot. Um, I think that, um, you know, I've met so many great people from USF there. And so I, I just think you're just another person from there. But, you know, maybe you could talk again what it's meant to you, USF. Well, I think USF has given me the foundation. I mean, the opportunities I had at USF was, um, you know, I don't think I could have found other places. I was able to get a great education. I was able to work as the photographer for the sports team. And we were so lucky, you know, with, I was there when Bill was there and, you know, the number one basketball team in the country we had the number one soccer team in the country as well. Yes. I mean, the tradition in sports is just unparalleled at USF for such a small school to be able to have that. And I was also able to play tennis as well, you know, being part of the varsity team and, you know, being part of the USF Hall of Fame. I mean, it's really, what more can I ask for? So USF has given me so many opportunities going forward that, you know, I just can't put in words what it, what it means to me. And to go on campus today and seeing the facilities that they have and how bright the students are, you know, it's just, you know, I highly encourage USF to anyone that asks me about it. Awesome, awesome. Well, Rodney, thank you so much for being on. You're awesome. I, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you, especially since, uh, you know, you've shown me so many great pictures. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can pull something else out of you and see if you can pull something out of the archives. Uh, they're, they're really awesome. But thank you so much for being on. You're great. And I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time with you. Yeah, great. Great talking with both you and Steve. Thank you. <laughs>